Why did I set up outside edge? Um, well, I'd always, I trained at Manchester Polytechnic School of Theatre, and um, I'd always been interested in sort of theatre that, um, with a purpose, I guess you could call it. And I was always drawn to Brecht. Um, and uh, so interested in that kind of political theatre, and I think this was before ideas of applied theatre were around. The only there was lots of work like that in TIE work and uh, contact. Manchester Contact at the time did a lot of Brecht style work, mm-hmm. um, and the college, the Poly, was uh, we we did a lot of Brecht, which was quite interesting. Um, and then I. And then uh, I sort of, uh, so I was always interested in that kind of work. And while working as an actor in various, what you would call community theatre companies, um, that I, uh, I saw, and, and I'd do some work in treatment centres and, and prisons, I'd, you know, I'd do some workshops there. And what I noticed, I saw the need there, what I noticed amongst the, the people I was working with, the substance misusers in recovery, was that they, they really responded to drama. It seemed like something they really needed. Um, and so I thought, wouldn't it be a good idea, you know, perhaps I could do a, create a theatre company um, made up of people affected by addiction, as for people affected by addiction. And I myself am a recovering heroin addict. And so I thought that, um, you, know, that uh, you know, this would be right for me as well. Um, I felt I had the kind of insights and knowledge and life experience that would be useful for a project like that. Um, and that's really where it sort of came from. Mm-hmm. Um, and, um, and I was interested in addiction, but I was also interested in people affected by addiction, not only the actual addicts themselves, but their partners, their spouses, uh, their employers, friends and commu- eventually communities, because I saw how our communities are affected by addiction. And, and this other idea that uh, addiction is everyone's story, because I think w- whichever strata of society, wherever you are, um, you are affected by addiction in one way or another. Um, I think if you're going to participate in a piece of art, you're going to naturally evolve, because you're going to have to challenge many aspects of yourself and awaken certain parts of yourself and this is what I expect from my actors really is that they will be awakened so they will start feeling like person A and then when they finish hopefully they'll feel like person B you know and I suppose in a way I'm not forcing this on anyone you know if you don't want to do that that is fine that is your choice and it may be completely the wrong thing for you as an audience member you have a choice to participate in our productions if you want to or not and I guess that's the same as a performer you know and uh, that you have you know and this is why I will be looking for a particular kind of performer really someone who is willing to step uh, beyond who they are not only in the sense of as a character but step beyond who they are inside themselves and who they think they are of themselves so that hopefully at the end of it they, they will see themselves as someone different Thank you for the days Those endless days, those sacred days you gave me I'm thinking of the days I won't forget a single day, believe me I bless the light I bless the light that lights on you, believe me And though you're Just bring sorrow, let it wait